okay I can do this I can do this do what <laughs> all of this all of this I guess today I'm gonna uh, since the rain has subsided I'm going to plan on planting some more of my grocery store scraps and also I noticed that um let me put my glasses back on I I came out you know to do a walk around my garden and I noticed I have these shears I guess they call shears I don't know these clippers because I plan on at least clipping the grass around the uh this part of the garden just clipping the grass along the the bricks get it back level to the to the bricks so i plan on doing that and um but what i noticed when i came out to start my walk around was that my beet greens the uh, beet greens were wilting and my logic is before I lose anything I grow I don't care how big or how small I'm gonna eat them bad boys but yeah my beet greens seems to be wilting maybe they have too much rain or or not getting enough sun because they were crowded. I don't know. But I will be taking them up. Clipping them. And taking them in the house and eating them. What's What, what I can salvage. I will be eating those. Beet greens are the best greens. I love all greens anyway. I don't care. But that's what I grew. A lot of turnips and... Um, a lot of different types of greens I don't remember what type of green this is I don't know but I think all of that rain is doing something you know they may be see how it's kind of wilting the leaves so it rains and then the Sun come out so I don't know if they're getting burnt by the Sun with the rain because it has been a lot of rain and that cabbage there has just wilted. So I think I'm going to, like I say, whatever I can salvage off of these leaves, I'm going to be taking in and eating. These are okra and turnips. And I was listening to Grow Family Network. Shout out to them. He answered my question about my trees, my mango and avocado trees. I was like, I don't, this is the mango tree and this is the avocado tree. I was like, I don't want to plant my trees in the ground because if I move, I'm going to want my trees. But um, he answered that question specifically when God answers your questions he don't beat around the bush he goes straight to the source of the answer and he was like plant those trees you don't know if you're gonna move or you're not you think you're gonna move in two years and then two years come you are still there and those trees need to be in the ground so that was a thank you father and thank you grow family network for answering those questions but yeah Oh, something I noticed on the onions. I think those are onions. I'm getting some uh, bulbs on those. I don't know what that is. Nodes or bulbs. I can't remember what they're called. But <sighs> the peanuts, they're sprouting. They're coming up real good. But it takes a while for them to grow. But yeah, this yard... I can do this. I could do this. I plan on getting out here, salvaging my turnip greens, and trimming around the bricks of the garden. I'm not going to do no weeding on the inside because if I pull weed up on the inside, I may disturb what's growing already, so I got to let it be. 
So, but I will start, hopefully, the rain let me, because and the grass is wet, still wet. But hopefully, today, maybe I can mow. I'm not mowing this whole thing. I'm just finding some kind of pathway. <laughs> and clearing around the bricks. So that's my objective today. And I can do this. Cilantro, boy, it, it don't waste no time sprouting. And that's dill. But I planted basil and parsley. I don't see those coming up yet. But the cilantro and dill, they grow good. And these are the cucumbers. They're growing. They happy. But they're gonna, I guess they're gonna need something to climb up. But all of this down here, right here, this is also um, grocery store scraps. Off my cabbage, off my celery, off onions. So I will be planting some more um, grocery store scraps. I started not throwing away none of my, this is celery. I started not throwing any away of my grocery store scraps. I just save them, put them in a plastic bag, put them in the refrigerator till I'm ready to plant them. But um, I see the beans, they're trying to grow up the uh, limbs, branches that I brought down. And I don't know when I'm gonna start seeing real beans produce. But yeah, they're starting to climb what's down here. Uh, uh, I don't know if I should be taking off the yellow. Yeah, I guess. But these are okra and the peanuts. Those are the peanuts over there. And, um... But yeah, so everything seems to be happy, and in spite of the weeds and stuff, I'm just gonna clear. I ain't messed. Up. I'm just gonna clear the grass, give the uh, bricks. I don't want it to overtake the bricks, so I'll just clip some of the grass down low, so I can still see the bricks real good. But other than that. I may mow in certain spots. I'm not mowing all over. And who knows, I may get some of the sheer, the clippers and trim those uh, long spindles. Because I think some of these are stickers. Some of these have stickers on them. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I just discovered! Oh my gosh! Oh, Father, I tell you, I could have cut this down. This is a mulberry. Oh, thank you, Father. You're so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 And they, they are wild. They are growing wild. I see them everywhere. They're everywhere. And I've been cutting this stuff down thank you father i discovered the walnut tree walnut trees are everywhere now i'm seeing mulberries everywhere hallelujah oh my gosh the answer to my prayer wow it's it's manifesting it is manifesting So now I got to be careful what I trim because these things are bearing fruit. Man, oh my goodness. So yes, I will be planting my avocado and mango trees. I'll probably plant it. I don't want to plant it so far back. But um, I told you guys, oh wow, Father, you beautiful, you you think just thank you and I bet it's more treasures to be uh, opened up too 
to me on this property, this land. I mean, the mulberry trees are everywhere. They're everywhere. I hope these are mulberries. Yeah, I hope they're mulberries. I don't know. I will be finding out. They look like mulberries to me. Excuse me. They look like mulberries to me. But, oh, they so beautiful. Oh, and look at here. I see a pathway. Let me let, let this back. Look at there. This is something that, wow. Now, I could walk up that. Yeah. See, that's what I think I'm going to start doing, making pathways. But, again, I may have to wait for the winter till some of the greenery. Now, see, yeah, I could walk. Look at this here. Look at this here. I could walk straight through that. Why haven't I seen that before? Why haven't I seen that before? Who know the deers may the deer may be opening pathways up for me to discover. But yeah, I could walk up that. That's a wide opening. Oh wow. And this tree that fell down right there, I believe, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to, one of these days, clear all of that out. But that's fire to wood to me. I won't throw that wood away. I would put that wood somewhere and keep this wood. I will keep that wood. I don't give a darn. But back up there in that little shed... That may be where I could store some firewood or or even inside of my little shed right there. I mean, that's closer to the house. I could put firewood inside of there too, but I don't know if I want to go that far. But it's closer to the house. I won't. Shoot. I, who am I fooling? I can't put no firewood way back there because I won't be walking, lugging. So yeah, it would have to be here close to the house. So, one thing I was thinking that I may can plant the trees back here where these two trees were growing. So, that's probably a plan. I don't know. I don't think this is nothing edible. But, dig it up and plant the trees back here. I'll probably plant the trees back closer to right up in this area. But yeah, and I might trim that grass down too. That'll be surrounding the trees. But if that's not edible, I would like to replace it. And that one right there and put the avocado and mango trees. I don't know. But that's the good thing about it. You have choices. You have choices. What in the world am I looking at? Look at this here, guys. You see, where is it? Where are my glasses? It's something red on top. Oh, where are you? I'm looking at something red. I think it's right there. What is that? Am I looking at a bird or a cap to the chimney? Is that a cap to a chimney? I don't I think you all can see what I'm trying. It's too far. What is that red? Now I'm going way back. I got my boots on and some pants on. So walking through this grass like this. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's 
See that red? I, I don't, y'all can't see what I'm seeing. Oh, it's a top, red leaves on top of a, a little tree branch. Where is it? It's leaves. Those are red leaves. Okay, wow. All right, let me get back focused on the, uh, what's surrounding me here. And it looks like all back up in there, kind of low ground as well. Excuse me. Now, I don't know why this be a little, I get a little scared. But I'm going up, guys. Y'all coming with me. Oh, this is scary. Scary with all this surrounding me. Whew, Father. Thank you that you're with me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm one with you, nature. And look, see, I'm going up this hill. The grass has grown so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. See, I'm going to have to mow this pathway down. The grass kind of high. <laughs> Whew. I got my cap on, too. But the house is down there. And this is where... Uh, I don't know if that's a water pump inside of there. I don't know. But there's a big old brick thing that's full of water back up in the woods back over there. But I think that may be a pump. Or I don't know what this that was. But there's some spare brick. And spare wood. And this is able to walk. Watch out for spider webs. That's why I got my hat on. I'm going to start. I, that, the neighbor did. Oh, yes. Yeah, see that red tree? That's branches, rather. Um. Hey, I don't know how to focus the camera where you all, all can see what I'm talking about. But it's pretty and red. I can't even get the camera. I don't see it on the camera. But. but anyway. But all this stuff, I'm going to see what I could be using up in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the broom, and as I walk, I'll get a big stick as I walk, knock down spider webs and things. But I see quite a few spider webs in the, just in the air. And, but there's a screen door. <laughs> I can use the screen door. And definitely the lawnmowers, even though the neighbor gave me a lawnmower to use. Oh, and I see a chair back there. I can repair the chair. Shoot, I might want to go get that now. Look at, like I see a few tools. I think I got to be suited up. And look at this mountain right there, man. You can't walk up that bad, boy. Can't walk up that. My son during the snow winter, he he found him some plastic thing and sat on and slid down the mountain in the snow. <laughs> Just left me behind. But uh, that this is walking on to the next property over there. 
but you can walk this but I will be coming over in here and seeing what I could salvage but I think I would prefer to have on some sleeves so no spider webs and you know boy I want that chair though because I could make put throw something over there make something out of nothing yeah out in that screen door pretty neat but see that spider web I don't know if you all could see the spider web glistening in the in the uh, glistening in the sun right there let's go a little bit further back now my question is when winter comes all of this gonna die back down I guess yeah these mulberry man I don't care what nobody say but uh I had it in my hand and it started leaking I mean you know the, the blue started coming juice rather That's my neighbor mowing his yard. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff that can be used. That's able to be walked up. Yeah, there are trails up in here. Those side-by-sides be riding all through these woods. There's a trail that leads from one town to the next town. But I would love to go journey through them, but I can't. I, I just not, I'm not brave enough and will admit it to go by myself. No. No, 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 that's not wise. I know God is with me in everything, but I will be wise as well. Anything happen to me, God forbid. I don't even want to talk that kind of stuff. I don't even know what kind of trees these are. Um... But some people sell the timber. I don't know if they do all of that yet. But when you have land, you could buy, sell the timber on the land. Sell the wood. But I don't, you know, what I'm clearing out, if God allowed that to come to pass some type of way, if that was uh, in my plan of, you know what God's plan is for me on this property um, if certain trees were to be cleared out for a, a road or pathway or something through the woods I would look into selling the wood maybe I don't know or you could build stuff because I'd be watching a lot of videos regarding now let me walk easy down this hill here Regarding, help me Father, thank you. You know, building stuff out of the wood they cut down. They be using that wood and building this, building that. So, you know. But anyway, that's just neat. But yeah, I don't know if the... Yeah. Now I done let the sun come out real hot. I was trying to get out here before the sun came out too hot and do a little clearing out. Just a little. I'm not going deep because I'm not, I'm not going to work that hard like that. But 
to find out what's coming on the land. If I keep cutting it down, I'll never know. And now I know I have more. There are more berries and a walnut. This might be a walnut tree here. Is this? I don't think so. Is that a walnut tree? I don't think so. But the bees and stuff, whatever those are, wasps and bees, they love it. Why y'all so attracted? I'll let y'all have your way, but sooner or later. Yeah, bees and stuff loving this tree. Pollinating, I guess. Oh, well, y'all. Nothing going on there. Okay, let me work my way back. Let me go on this side and see if I what's going on with the potatoes. They're getting taller and taller. a different leaf that I've seen. I don't know, but anyway, I don't think it's an onion. I didn't plant. I planted just potatoes. Let me pinch a little bit, see what it is. Mm. That's an onion, I believe. Wow. I think I did see some wild onions out here, too. And then the people that lived here, wow, that's Man, that might be a garlic. I think that's garlic. Boy, that garlic is good. And I just had a teeny tiny piece. I'll let it be. That's a garlic. Oh, my gosh. That was very good. Okay. I was thinking that uh, my next project will be pulling this cardboard up off the ground here and getting this area ready to plant something else. Um, it's got to be something that can tolerate the shade, that'll do well in the shade because the uh, pine tree is covering a lot of the sun. It won't get too much sun, so it have to be something that can endure the shade. Oh my gosh, that garlic, when those garlics and onions were growing, the, uh, the, the stems, leaves, or whatever, the the, the stalks things, I would be cutting them off, putting them in my food, but now I'm just letting them grow up. Because normally I would have cut those and been putting it in my food. <laughs> the onions and, and garlic and stuff, yeah, I was cutting them bad boys. But let me do, let me stay focused and do what I said I was going to do. I am going to cut my beet greens. And that may be what I have tonight. And have a blessed day. And let us be inspired.